Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about your walk with God. Paul references our Christian walk in the New Testament as if we're running a race and that we should run it as if to win it. One of the ways that Satan tries to trick us or dupe us is to taking one step forward, but then we end up taking two steps backwards. If we do this, we're never actually going to get to the finish line in a race if we're taking one step forward and then two steps backwards. So to expound upon this, I need to explain dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter within our body. It's a chemical that is sent to all areas of our brain. It does many things, but one of the main things that it's responsible for is controlling our reward or pleasure system. So when we accomplish something, when we do something, we get this shot of dopamine, this joy, this fulfillment, and it can happen from a no number of things. Whatever we eat, when we drink, when we are intimate, when we can mark things off of our to-do list, our goals, if we're in sports and we score a goal, dopamine's released. Dopamine is a good thing. It's actually called the motivation molecule. It helps us stay focused, our drive, our, our motivation, but it also helps with our memory and our mood and our movement. So when we have a lack of dopamine, it affects our body in a number of ways, a number of ways. Parkinson's disease is actually a lack of dopamine. Those dopamine receptors are not working the way that they should. And now that prohibits the movement. Now you can have jerks or just shakes because you can't move the way that you should. That's from a lack of dopamine. But it also impacts your body in a number of other ways. So whether you're unmotivated, you're just lethargic or depressed or unfocused or you're just not sleeping good at night, you have sleep problems, it can impact you in so many ways if you don't have the proper amounts and levels of dopamine. So how can we make sure that we have a healthy level of dopamine, that it's actually at the levels that it should be? Well, make sure that you're eating a healthy diet, getting the proper exercise, and it doesn't have to be intense physical exercise, it can just be walking. Walk outside, being outside increases your levels of dopamine. Goal setting. Goal setting is, is a big one. Just having a to-do list and marking something off the list increases your dopamine because you have accomplished something. You have completed something. So when you have a task, say cleaning the house, don't just put on your list, clean the house. Break it down into smaller things. That way you have smaller goals within that. You can break it down to rooms. Clean the living room. Clean the master bedroom. Clean the kitchen. And as you do each one of those, you can mark them off and boom, you get a shot of dopamine, that enjoyment, that fulfillment that you have completed something. Or you can break it down into areas. So vacuum the house, dust the house, clean the windows, clean the bathrooms, all these sorts of things. Break it down so that you have more things to mark off. That increases your dopamine. Instead of just having one large task, break it down into smaller tasks. There's other ways to increase dopamine. Meditation is actually proven. There's over a thousand studies that say meditation increases dopamine within our bodies. Now, this should not be a surprise to us as Christians because God has already said this. We know what the true meditation is, and he told us in Isaiah 26, 3, I will keep you in perfect peace, those whose minds are stayed upon me, those who trust in me. If, we're, if, we're, if our mind is stayed upon God, he's going to keep us in perfect peace. And then Psalm 16, 11 says that you will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So if we're focused upon God, if we're fulfilling his word, obeying his word, one, he's going to keep us in perfect peace. We will have fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. That's dopamine. Our joy our pleasure reward system is dopamine. So that is in the balance, the perfect levels that it should be if our mind is stayed upon God, if we're doing his word. Now the problem arises when we're not doing God's word. If we're not doing God's word, we have this void in our life. And now we, we seek to fulfill this void to get our dopamine levels to levels where they should be, where we are joyous, happy, and we seek them in ways that we should not. We seek them in areas that, that will increase dopamine, but not healthy, and it's, it's only a temporary increase. It's not long-lasting. So this can be in, again, food. It can be in sugar or caffeine. It can be in drugs. It can be in alcohol. It can be in pornography. It can be in gambling. It can be in just overeating. It can be in so many forms, shopping. There are so many things that will actually increase dopamine, but these are not healthy increases. They're temporary. 
they are temporary and it, it, it is proven that these things do increase dopamine so food for example can increase dopamine levels 150 percent nicotine sex can imp increase dopamine levels 200 percent cocaine increases dopamine levels by around 400 percent and amphetamines can actually increase it by a thousand percent however these come with major, major negative side effects. Don't go to drugs, to alcohol, all these things to increase your dopamine because they do have major negative side effects. Mental side effects, physical side effects, diseases, even death. Don't go to these things. Our true source of fulfillment should be in God. He is our sustenance. He is our source. For our dopamine levels to be balanced, we need to keep our mind stayed upon Him. These other areas, they do increase our dopamine, but they're fleeting pleasures. This is what's talked about in Hebrews 11, 24 and 25, where it says Moses refused. By faith, he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, but instead chose to suffer afflictions with the children of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin, the passing pleasures of sin. There is a pleasure in sin for a time, but it's a short time and it's not fulfilling. It's not enduring it will come at a cost and this is where it comes into you're taking one step forward for this pleasure this boost in dopamine but then you take two steps backwards because of the repercussions that come from going into that sin whether it be drugs alcohol pornography whatever it is there is a passing pleasure in it but there's a major major negative side effect afterwards so keep your eyes stayed upon god keep your eyes stayed upon him 2 Corinthians 2.11 says that make sure that Satan's not taking advantage over you for you are not ignorant of his schemes, of the wiles of the devil, of his intentions. You know what Satan is trying to do. He's dangling these things in front of you and you know, well, my dopamine is going to increase. This is going to provide brief joy if I go here, brief happiness. It's really not even true joy because true joy comes from the, from the Lord. But you will have this passing pleasure in sin for a brief time, but then you will have this crash afterwards. The only way that we can truly stay stabilized, level, where we should be, is to stay in the Word of God, obeying the Word of God, keeping our mind stayed upon Him, and as we do that, He keeps us in perfect peace. As we, fu we fulfill stayed upon Him, and as we do that, He keeps us in perfect peace. As we fulfill His plan in our life, there are joys and pleasures forevermore. So stay in the Word of God. Do the word of God and don't, don't bask in the fleeting pleasures of sin. Avoid them at all costs. Satan has come to steal, kill, and destroy. He is out as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. These things are not to bless you. These things are to hinder you. Satan's not trying to help your problem. He's trying to make it worse. So abstain from every appearance of evil. Do what God has told you to do and your dopamine levels will be balanced. You will have that joy, you will have the pleasures forevermore, and you will be in perfect peace.